Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. This is going to be a little bit of an extended version of my empties. Um, as my friend Angela in San Antonio pointed out, I have not been doing my upstairs empties and she is right. I have missed a month or two. So I'm going to combine that with uh, this week's empties downstairs and we will get it all done in one shot. Um, upstairs I have three full-size warmers and one plug-in in the bathroom. My other bathroom used to have a plug-in but I changed that to a full-size because I need to get through some stuff. So we're trying to not purchase so much and melt more. So uh, we can start with downstairs and get that out of the way. Uh, for candles I burned two of the Homeworks initial candles. This was gifted to me. These were gifted to me by the lovely Angela. Um, and one is in Berry, wa Berry Pumpkin Waffles, which I've never had that scent. And this one is Cinnamon French Toast. I have not that had that scent either. Um, and they were both really, really nice candles. And I am going to clean out the, these mugs and keep them because they're really cute Christmas mugs. So um, let's see. One, oh yeah, one had a Christmas tree and one had K, there was no R's left, so this is the name of my street. So clever thinking, Angela. Um, this one did okay. Um, I did have to foil it a couple of times. There is still some wax left at the bottom. Uh, it did, you know, it did okay. This one sort of like crazy, like crazy. And this one I also had to foil. But I am going to say them, and I did love both those scents. So thank you very much, Angela, for the nice, it was a surprise. It was super duper nice. Thank you. Then from Bath and Body Works, uh, I did Forest Flurries and um, Winter. One of my favorite all-time winter scents is from Bath and Body Works, the winter one. Um, as you can see, there's still like, I don't know, half an inch of wax left. Uh, that nub there, self-extinguished. It was, I cotton balled this sucker like three times. Um, and it still smells. I could probably put it on the warmer if I felt I needed to, but I've really got to get through some stuff, so I'm not going to. But uh, winter is a favorite of mine. I did like it. And um, Forest Flurries is a new-to-me candle this year. I'm not sure if this scent has been out before, and I just never noticed it. I don't think so. Or perhaps it was before my candle time. But it is made with lemon and orange peel essential oils, which it seemed everything it did this year, with notes of eucalyptus and patchouli. And definitely, uh, there's, I shouldn't say definitely, but yes, I can smell the patchouli and I can smell the eucalyptus as well. But it was a nice combination, very kind of clean. I think I described it as like outdoors clean, in the forest clean, fresh snow clean. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't get any lemon and orange peel, citrus essential oils at all. Uh, this little guy also had to be cotton balled multiple times, so he's going to the graveyard too. So I've thought for a while, uh, I burned one or two new candles this year, and I can't remember what they were, uh, whatever, and I thought, oh great, you know, they've solved the problem. Uh, not in these ones I can speak to, um, <clears throat> but the throw was great. I didn't get any kerosene. Um, I wouldn't say there's no soot on that one, and I wouldn't say there's soot on that one either. So it's just the wicks. Across the board, who can make some good wicks? We'd like to know. Okay, then uh, if you recall my um, melting basket last week, I was just going to finish going through some onesies and twosies and stuff, which I did. I finished uh, Candle Warmer's Cranberry Sage. This is really, really good. Yes, I would repurchase this without a, without a second thought, I would. I'm trying to avoid the Candle Warmer's website uh, because I always spend too much when I go there, but candlewarmers.com has tons of warmers, lots of wax, and frequently the there's always a sale section and the big five ounces will be on sale for two dollars and 49 cents which is where i got that that one so uh, i would go back and purchase more of this cranberry sage and i probably would if i if i go to the website i always end up buying warmer so i'm probably going to try to stay away for now i finished a cranberry uh spice cranberry sorry this was really good um It was a tart uh, cranberry, but it also had the, the spice in it. It was, it was good, It wasn't, but the spice wasn't overbearing. Iced winter cranberry, been around forever, always a good one. Sweet, 
sweet but tart sugary cranberry. I love that one. What else did I go through down here? Um, is this? Oh, that's from upstairs. That's from upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs. This is downstairs. Okay, sorry. Getting myself organized here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, I finished uh, some of these homemade tarts that I made last year called Wassel. 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 Um, and I was just, I had a couple clams of different things that I didn't care for on their own. So I just kind of put it all in an empty uh, Bath and Body Works candle jar, put it in the candle warmer, and stirred it all up and made my own concoction. And it was good. It was a combination of, of uh, a cranberry orange. Um, wax a cinnamony wax it was too the original one was um, candle warmers wassail but it was too cinnamony for me so i added this orange goji orange i added uh bathroom or um better homes and gardens pine and that's what i came up with and it was good um let me just throw all that there i melted a rainbow melts gingerbread bliss this was from 2017 that was a good one strong throw i finished uh bohemian oh that was from upstairs hang on where's my downstairs ones i guess i'm i'm done no no, no this is it uh, okay sorry talking to myself uh pure christmas from uh case creations if you don't order from, if you've never ordered from Case Creations, highly I would recommend checking out her site. She always has a sale section, and these tarts are in the sale section are called Catch 'em While You Can. They're like last of the quantities, I think. And frequently they're in the Catch 'em While You Can section of the sale for two dollars and seventy-five cents, I believe, for five tarts. So it's a really good deal. I like I like Case Creations wax. Okay, then. I uh, last year ordered after the fact a the um, advent calendar from Super Tarts. I didn't get it, and somebody had an extra one to sell, so I bought it. So this is last year's advent calendar from Super Tarts: marshmallow macchiato chocolate chip cookies. And basically, I just kind of got like a coffee cookie combo there: pecan funnel cake, vanilla bean, French toast. And I did get French toast in this one. I did. Graham Sugar Milk Nog uh, is, was kind of sour to me. This sugar milk, I haven't had it from too many vendors, I have to say. Maybe this one, and I think maybe uh, Vintage Chic does something with sugar milk. Um, and both blends, I find the sugar milk is, reads sour to me, to my nose. Um, Hot Toddy Orange Cider Cinnamon Rolls, which is kind of basically this, like the wassail that I made. It was good. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, very similar. Um, and also, this was gifted to me by, oh, I remember I said the other day, and I couldn't remember, and then I remember uh, Missy. Oh, gee whiz, I forgot it again. My mind. When I hit 54, it was all downhill. Everything went down. Okay, anyhow, Bohemian Life, uh, Blackberry Bay, which is a blend of blackberry, bay laurel, spiced apple cider, oak moss, and woods. And this was really good. Missy Hendren. Or is that an actress? No, it's Missy Hendren. Uh, I'm pretty sure she, she gave me this. Uh, anyway, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed this. I have never placed an order with Bohemian Life. Um... This made me, you know, want to do it uh, because I really enjoyed it. But I'm trying, really trying hard. And, you know, if I am to order anything, Destination Wax is opening on January 1st. And, you know, I'm, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I am going to order from Destination Wax. I can't not order from Destination Wax. I have to. Okay. So that's what I melted last week or 10 days downstairs. So the rest of this is what I've been melting upstairs uh, for the past like month or maybe two months, I guess, in three full size and one uh, plug-in warmer. Um, so I melted some more upstairs of the um, advent calendar from Super Tarts, chai butter brickle cake maple sugar cornbread christmas cookies and this if i recall i did get maple from this like maple cookies or like make maple bakery yes i did okay speaking of destination wax i melted um wine cellar pomegranate black cherry pink pepper musk 
saffron and patchouli. This, I believe, was a sample in my last order, and I was very, very excited to get it because lots of people love wine cellar, um, and I had not had it before. And I was so disappointed. I wanted to love it. I wanted to love it so bad. I just didn't. I think I, I, it was reading, although there's no amber in the description, I think the musk and the patchouli together uh, really kind of read amber to me. So I did not care for that. Very disappointed in that. I, I wanted to love it because I know it's, it's, a, it's a favorite of lots and lots of people. So unfortunately, I did love it. And uh, vanilla dream cake. I think this also was a sample. Layers of vanilla cake, marshmallow buttercream, confetti sprinkles, and sugar crushed sugar cookies. And let me see if I can recall. So I know that, yeah, I just, it's kind of like, like a vanilla bakery scent. It was good. It was good. Um, not one of my favorites from Destination Wax, but I do have lots of favorites from Destination Wax. So uh, I don't know if Anthony's going to be watching this. I'm going to text him later to remind him that uh, Destination Wax is opening because he did want to try some Destination Wax. So I'll let him know. Okay, Queen Bee, Candles from the Keeping Room. Um, I bought a D stash, uh, candles from the keeping room D stash, I don't know, like a year ago. So I think that's from this. Oh, do you know what? No, it's not. It was two flip flops. And this was gifted to me from Crystal. Yes. Yep, yeah, that was Crystal. Okay, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, okay, that. Let's do some, let's do some bags of stuff. Okay, this was a candle I melted from Better Homes and Gardens, Fresh Ocean Flowers. I loved this. It was really nice. The scent... It is just exactly what it sounds like. It was very aquatic, light, floral together. It was really nice. The throw is light. The scent is light, so the throw is light. So, But it did really well in the bathroom. It's a very good bathroom scent. So I probably, if, that, if I saw that at Walmart again, I probably would pick it up and melt it again. Um, from Vintage Chic, uh, Bob Hope at the Cafe. And this is strawberry rhubarb pie, chantilly cream, and fresh picked strawberries. I didn't get too much rhubarb out of this. I did get strawberries. And I was kind of hoping for more of the rhubarb scent. But Destination Wax has a rhubarb. Um, I can't remember what, what it's called now. But I'm going to do something with that. Either I'm going to order it or I'm going to turn it into something when she does customs. And originally I thought customs were going to be in January, but I think Rebecca posted the other day, Rebecca uh, Customs will be in March now, so I will be looking for that, and I am going to be doing some mixing. Uh, from Rainbow Melts, this is Cool Beans from her coffee sampler back in September, looks like, and this was really good. Yeah, really, really good. Um, Arsenic and Old Lace from Gypsy Monroe. This was my first Gypsy Monroe order, and arsenic and old lace is sandalwood, violet petals, bergamot, cedar, amber, and fruity musk. And to be honest, the only reason I ordered it is because I love the old movie Arsenic and Old Lace with, uh, with uh, Cary Grant. Really, really fun movie. You should check it out. If you, if you like watching old movies, it's an old movie. Uh, it was a good movie. Anyway, so, uh, so that's why I ordered it for no other reason than that, to be truthful. And when I, it's like, oh, it has a little bit of amber in it, but it has uh, some violet and cedar, so I might like it, fruity musk. And I did like it. It was nice. I melted it in my bedroom at night, and I did enjoy it. It is kind of musky with a little bit of floral underneath it, but um, it was enjoyable. Uh, another one from Case Creations, Christmas Rose. Another one from Rainbow Melts, uh, Lavender Marshmallow, which is Sweet Lavender and Marshmallow Cream. And this I got in a mystery box. What's the date on this? Uh, nine, so I did, I obviously then got it in September. I liked it, I did smell the marshmallow. The lavender, although it says Sweet Lavender, it was a little more, it is sweet, it is sweet. I remember those thinking when it was melting, it's like, oh, this is a little more herbal than I thought it was going to be. And a gift from Adam, Vintage Chic Scents, I'll be right back. And this was good. I don't know what the scent was, but it was good. I, th I remember thinking, it's, um, I kind of got a little bit of mint, but then I kind of don't. So I'm not sure what it was, but it was good. I enjoyed it. 
Okay, also gifted to me from Adam was, um, uh, last week he sent me a box of wax. It was just supposed to be a couple samples of Sweet Sage Scents that he talks about all the time. Sasha from Sasha Isms also likes Sweet Sage Scents. Um, and this one is Feliz Navidad, uh, Cranberry Salsa, Fresh Squeezed Pineapple, Orange Chili Pepper. This was really good. I had it in my guest bathroom. Yes, and it definitely you smell chili peppers. Like the veins, when you chop chili peppers, you get it on your hands, the seeds, the veins. Definitely. That is so weird how they can do that in wax. I'm always amazed when something so, you know, obscure gets translated into wax so accurately. It's very cool. Okay. Candy cane, buttercream, cupcake, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. This also was good. Yep. Sweet, uh, a sweet... Sweet candy cane. I didn't really get sugar cookie, but I did get the sweet uh, candy cane. Um, strawberry passion, blueberry, zucchini bread, and vanilla waffle cone. And this one, I the zucchini bread came out first, followed by strawberry. Yeah, I did not get any blueberry, but I did get strawberry. And this also was very good. Strawberry jam and zucchini bread. Very similar to the last one. Yeah, um, and, but in fact, even though the only berry scent in this is strawberry, the previous one that has multiple berries, I, I, I was more strawberry in this one. And then also from Adam, two from Hayden Rowe, Sunset Bonfire. This was really, really good. Definitely like a bonfire scent, but it wasn't sweet like Marshmallow Bonfire. I just kind of got similar to sort of similar to beach nights from bath and body works but a strong on the bonfire i really enjoyed that i cut it in half and did it in my bedroom in two nights or well maybe two two nights per half um and strawberry passion from hayden row very strong fresh mashed up strawberries yes mashed strawberries not strawberry jam okay then we did some clams Oh, here's another one. Um, the Santa Claus, Northern Pine, Douglas Fir, Blue Spruce, Cinnamon Clove, Rosemary, and Cedar. And I believe it was, yeah. Um, a com I hate the word common, but a, a, a not unique, which is, means common, um, Christmas tree scent. But I did like it. I do like Christmas tree scents, so it was totally fine with me. Liked it. Uh, I melted a Better Homes and Gardens Wonderful Winter. This is a staple comes out every year. And um, again, I still, ha still, today is January the, no, it's not, it's not. It's December the 28th. And um, still, no winter wax at my Walmart. And I went to a different Walmart today. So I'm not sure what's going on in Houston. I'm not getting Walmart wax, but anyway. Uh, but uh, the lovely Teresa sent me some uh, winter wax from Walmart, and the packaging is the same this year as it was last year. It's okay. Uh, lavender and rosemary went through two of these upstairs over the course of whatever it was, two months, six weeks. Um, and this, when I bought it originally, I really liked it, and I think I bought five or six of them because that's how I roll. Uh, but having not melted it for a while and then trying to go through my stash and I pulled it out again, I do find it more astringent and herbal than I would care for. And I think I only have one left. So I'm, I went through pretty much all of that. Sugared Lavender Twist. I enjoyed this. It is sweet. Definitely the, the sweetness, the sugary lavender. And uh, I think I have one left of these from like last year or the year before, I think. Um, a marshmallow candy cane. I love this one. This one was from last year. Yep, still going strong. And you can see the packaging is uh, kind of yellowed now from last year, but it's still through very, very well. It was really, really nice. The funny thing about this one is it, it leaves a residue in my warmers. Like there's some kind of, it's not glitter, but it's like a shimmer dust or something, white shimmer dust, which I don't like. I wish they'd not do that, but they did. And from the fall, uh, I only brought a couple of the Yankee Candle um, wax melts from Walmart um, this fall. I still have quite a few from spring and summer. And one of the ones that I did get was Enchanted Moon, and I did like it. It's definitely, 
a berry or yeah like a dark berry like maybe like a wine kind of note I'm getting um, with kind of like a sandalwood or an amber or something that's making this dark deep berry note even richer or um, what's the word like warmer deeper that's all I can describe it as like yeah like a red wine deep musty but it was good I enjoyed it okay from the lovely Lisa Roberry who is my Sensi consultant if you need a Sensi consultant Lisa Roberry is awesome she has a YouTube channel and a Facebook group as well if you're in Canada and you need a Sensei Consultant, look for Patricia Getz uh, from Nose to Toes. She also has a Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. Does she have Facebook? I don't think so. Oh, so anyway, uh, Lisa sent me samples of the winter bricks, um, of which there was five, and I purchased two, but then I went splits on one, or we kind of did an exchange with uh, another gal. Uh, I... Uh, uh oh. I want to say it's Eileen, but it's not. It's, um, shoot. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. My mind. Okay, anyway. Um, Blue Christmas, which is holiday fragrance of orange peels, cloves, fur needles, and cinnamon sticks. And I almost ordered this one. There's just like little samples. Um, I almost ordered this one, but I have lots of stuff that I can make, you know, jerry rig something together to make like that, or I already have incense. In, in wax so I didn't order that one but it was a good one um, Christmas Cottage I did not order Lila Ly, Layla no Lena 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 sorry Lena um, okay Christmas Cottage is a cozy inviting blend of Valencia oranges raspberries cloves and spices I also enjoyed this sample as well um, this one had a little musky note to it um i'm not sure what it was maybe maybe it's the cloves i'm smelling i'm not sure so i did not purchase that one um i did so these are the two i purchased ginger and spruce and cranberry and tinsel love them both cranberry and tinsel is mulled cranberry Sibi siberian fir needle cedarwood bleh, cedar wood sparkle and shine and again something that you could easily mix up with probably stuff you have in your stash a cranberry and a, and a christmas tree but it was really really good and the mixing's done for you and i do there's something about getting these big bricks that just kind of lights my fire i really like the bricks so i did like that one cranberry tinsel and the other one i also really liked towering spruce dotted with fresh ginger and vivid notes of cassis which i believe is a raspberry liqueur if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong about that um i looked it up and i forget why now um again well actually this is unique because i've not had ginger mixed in with a christmas tree spruce fir whatever scent so that made it very unique and i really enjoyed this one and i'm so glad i got this one yeah i'm very glad i got this one and this was also very good mixed with the cranberry and tinsel. Those two together, cranberry and tinsel and ginger and spruce were very good. So um, they're still on the website. And I'm wondering, you know, po possibly they're going to be going on sale soon. You might find the big br bricks in the sales section. So watch for those. And the last uh, sample she sent was Blizzard Berry, which is bursts of frosted winterberry and clementine zest are sprinkled with sparkling sugar crystals. This was last week's Scentsy Saturday. And as I mentioned earlier, um, on the Blizzard Berry, yeah, so I put on Lisa's Facebook page, as suggested by Patricia Getz from Nose to Toes, um, you know, if you don't want to go all in on a big brick, if you had a friend, you could go splits on and each split a brick and you'd still have lots of wax for the winter season and more. So um, I put it out there on the Facebook page if anybody was interested in splitting some bricks. And Lena said that she would split half her brick of Blizzard Berry for Cranberry and Tinsel, which is what we did. However, Lena sent me more than half. Um, cause she said that it wasn't one of her favorites. It was okay. But it wasn't one of her favorites. And I would agree with that for my taste as well. If, if you watch my, um, playback on Saturday, Sensi Saturday, um, it was a very sweet, sweet, sugary berry. 
um, and I kind of got raspberry. I didn't get the frosted winterberry part of it or the clementine zest, so it was a little bit too sweet of a berry for me, but it definitely could be mixed with lots and lots of different things uh, to make it yummy. Peppermint, Christmas trees, you know, vanilla, anything. Finally upstairs, we have the Rainbow Melts Advent Calendar, and it's all in this basket here. I'm not gonna go through each one individually. It would take way too long. We're already up to 25 minutes. If you do want to see a play-by-play -play of each one of those, go to Canada Kim 1978, because she did review each of the scents individually on a daily basis, or like all at once, but she reviewed all of them individually. So I'm not going to do that. Go see Canada Kim 1978. Um, I love, there's 20, 25, obviously 25 days of Christmas, or, up until December, slow your roll, 25 days in December until Christmas. You know what I mean. Um, so I have to say the standout, although I loved almost all of them, there's one I didn't love. The standout for me is Red Nose, and this is Tart Cranberries and Glowing Ginger Ale. So if she does custom than this, I will definitely be all in. I love that one. Um, a couple other standouts, I should have pulled a couple of standouts out. Um, Let's see, Holiday Fireside was a good one. Um, there was a cup, Mistletoe Kisses was a good one. Uh, Let Us Snow, I loved. I had it last year's sampler. Uh, Merry and Bright, Sweet Lemon and Vanilla Custard. That was very good. Merry Cafe, uh, let's see, Snowman, Tears, Peppercorn, Elderberries, Blackberries, and Fizzy Bubbles. That was a nice combination. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, what else did I really love? Uh, gingerbread applesauce ice cream scoop bread. That was good. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, winter berry was good. Crisp peppermint and sweet berries. So if you have this um, blizzard berry, you could put it with peppermint and do something like that. Elf breakfast was Captain Crunch cereal and maple pancakes. Heavy on the maple for that one. It was really good. Uh, cranberry cobbler eggnog was good. Christmas cookie was good. They were all good. Snow Angel, loved it. Uh, Jolly Sorbet. So the one that I wasn't really, I still have a leftover actually. I couldn't get through the second piece. There was two pieces in this one. Some of them, this was the only, it was a mini scent shot, a one ouncer. And some of them were one, it, like maybe one coin size or two smaller ones. This was Winter Storm. Ozone, fresh air, patchouli, and musk. And I wanted to love it because of the ozone and the fresh air, but yeah, the, the blend of patchouli and musk is just too much for me. I like some patchoulis and I like some musk, but um, like even today, this is the second one I've had a blend of patchouli and musk, to, musk together and I don't care for it. I don't care. For it. Actually, I'm going to get that. I'm... Um, Gonna donate this one to my uh, mail carrier, my good mail carrier. My mail carrier, I'm just gonna intercede, interject here. So at the, um, all through the year, of course, I get these packages of wax and my mail carrier says, oh my gosh, your mail always smells so good. So I bought her a warmer and I'm going to give her some of my wax stash. Adam gave me a box of wax last week. I'm gonna pick out some of his wax stash and I'm going to give it to my mail carrier uh, as a belated uh, Christmas gift. So I, I'm hoping she'll like it. I think she will. Okay, so that is it for empties. Here you go, Angela. Here are your empties. So, and I will talk to you soon. We're gonna meet for lunch soon. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Tomorrow, stay tuned. Tomorrow is going to be Scentsy Saturday. And I'm going to put up a new melting basket tomorrow as well. So I hope everybody has an enjoyable Friday night. I will see you soon. Bye.